Relative and absolute addressing in Excel is a little bit tricky. I'd like you to read this section and set up a play spreadsheet and play with some of these options down here until you feel like you kind of understand what's going on. The way you'd set this up is I would open a new spreadsheet or even our spreadsheet. If you go down here at the bottom, I can create a new tab. And then I can put in 247, 247, and 1 and a 2. Okay, and then I can try these out. So our first formula is equals A1 or A2 minus A1 plus B1 equals A2 minus A1 plus B1. Okay, and that's going to be a 3 because we're going to take A1 or A2, which is this cell right here with a 4 in it, minus A1, there we go, and plus B1. So 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is going to give us a 3. Now, we have used no dollar signs, meaning all of these uh, cells are referenced by our relative. So if we were to drag this down, they're going to change relative to my current location. That means that the cells are going to change, the rows are going to change. So we're still going to stay A and and B. The B, A's and B's are going to stay the same, but the numbers are going to change because our row number is changing. So if we drag down, the row number is incrementing by 1 from 2 to 3. So our formula is going to turn into A3 minus A1 plus B2. That's my prediction. Okay, we get a 6, and if we look at that equation, we see A3 minus A2 plus B2. Okay, just as I predicted. Now, when we pull over and we move this, we drag this over to the side, the row is staying the same. All of our numbers are going to stay the same, but our column is changing. So this, our column letters are going to change in our equation. So instead of being A2 minus A1 plus B1, the columns are going to change, the, the numbers are going to stay the same, and it's going to become B2 minus B1 plus C1. There we go. If we take a look at this, there we go. We have B2 minus B1 plus C1. Now, if I were to drag this down, you're going to see that the row number changes, but the columns stay the same. So the letters B and C are going to stay the same, but the row numbers are going to increment. There we go. So the letters stayed the same, but now our rows have incremented. So what's happening is, is as I drag these formulas around, they change relative to my current location. Okay. Um, as soon as we start throwing in dollar signs, though, dollar signs mean that never changes. So right here we have some dollar signs. Right, so let's clean this up, empty these. And we have a dollar sign here and a dollar sign here. Let's make this bigger so it's easy to see. There we go. We've added in the dollar signs. That means even if I drag this down and our row number changes, these numbers are not going to change because we've said that they, they must be fixed. The, so they stay the same. The column letters are going to stay the same regardless because we're staying in the same column. We're not changing columns. This number changed right here. This is the only thing that changed because it's the only thing that's not a column letter or has a dollar sign in front of it. Okay, So here we had B1. Now here it's B2. Okay, If I drag this over, the numbers are going to stay the same regardless. These dollar signs don't really mean so much. And the column letters are going to change because there's no dollar sign in front of any column letters. If we put a dollar sign 
like that in front of the column letter, then all of a sudden that becomes, that stops changing. Here we go. So we've, all of our numbers stay the same, our column letters change, and we can keep going, and so on. Okay, so I really hope people play with this um, and try to get a feeling for relative versus absolute addressing.